Okay, hi Jeff. Hi, Can Lisa. you tell me a little bit about yourself and the art that you make and how you got started as an artist? Sure. So I am a retired science teacher. Uh, and I've been uh, making uh, pots. I'm a potter and a painter more recently, but I've been uh, working at uh, ceramics for 20, almost 25 years. So I started when I was working as a science teacher and slowly got into um, the, I got the bug, I got the ceramics bug and, and fell in love with it. And um, eventually after retiring, a uh, studio was built and started to focus more on creating uh, functional and, and sculptural work. Um, and then uh, painting has kind of crept into my world uh, as an artist too, so I'm, I'm juggling both of those uh, right now. What made this project of interest for you? What drew you to applying for this project? Well, certainly several things, but I think um, primarily the idea that uh, I was going to be a part, if I, if I were selected, um, going to be a part of this, uh, this amazing goal by the Benton Community Foundation to give awards. And so my piece, my pieces, would be awards given for um, just, you know, just amazing reasons. The uh, generosity of folks, their hard work in supporting the community. And so that just felt really good. And then being able to work with the foundation, um, the, uh, the organization, the history of the organization, their mission, and what they do for the community, just to work with them, uh, certainly was a draw. And then the idea that the foundation, um, their mindset was to help with um, finding an artist through the art center, so they embrace the art center and local artists. And so that and that was certainly huge. And then the inspiration, I knew there would be plenty of inspiration coming from such a wonderful uh, organization as the, as the foundation. Describe how you presented your design or your prototypes and once you were selected, how the process of making the awards went for you. Sure. So looking at the guidelines put out in the call for artists, um, my mind went to a 3D piece and standalone, uh, sitting maybe on a tabletop. And that's certainly a lot of what I do. And um, I'm drawn to uh, vessels and lidded vessels with sculpture. Um, and so that uh, was, uh, was in my mind as I looked for pieces in terms of images to send to foundation um, and then with their help um, they, they were really good about um, working with me as as an artist and um, the communication piece was strong so then as, as they looked at uh, images um, eventually that led to well what about this Jeff would this work and um, and so uh, yeah got that final call that was it was great yeah. what was the most rewarding Part of this project for you, would you say? Um, I, you know, I think again, looking back to the purpose, the goal for the pieces to be awards, and to imagine that these pieces would be sitting on a table in someone's home, an individual's home, or um, at a business site. Um, and then having that piece be a reminder of their hard work and their generosity, I think that was the, the most uh, rewarding. And then, and then the idea of uh, having a challenge of making these pieces uh, all being similar, 10 of them, and then going through that process uh, was certainly um, a draw. And, 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 that, and that felt really good when it finally all came together. What would you say to the artists who are applying for this year, for the third annual luncheon? Is there any words of encouragement or advice that you would give them? Um, well, again, if you keep in mind the, the goal, the purpose of the pieces and where they're going to end up, that's, that's front and center. 
Uh, and I would certainly encourage um, more artists to, to participate and to get their images sent in um, and uh, be ready for uh, working with uh, an amazing organization um, and, and a lot of, uh, of feel-good um, emotions when it's all said. Uh,